Well, hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Diane and thank you so much for joining me today. I want to say a big hello to all of my old subscribers and welcome to all of my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you and welcome aboard. So today we're going to be making an old southern classic. Just a few simple ingredients. It is corn casserole and we're going to get right into this today. All you're going to need is some cornbread mix, and we're going to use this brand. Some sour cream, that's eight ounces. A whole stick of butter, which is a half a cup of butter. And you need a can of whole kernel corn and a can of cream corn. And you need two eggs. The eggs is going to bind this together. Now, some recipes will uh, call for you to drain the whole kernel corn, but we're not going to drain it because um, not draining it is going to create more of a like a souffle kind of a effect. So we're not going to drain it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to dump our cornbread mix in. And I'm just going to go through here and kind of break up the clumps. You know, I'm always telling you to break up the clumps. This is going to go together so quickly, it's just going to be phenomenal. And then we're going to add in our whole kernel corn. That's just a can. Everything is just dumped up and stirred. That's what we're going to be doing. And this is our cream style sweet corn. That's going in now. Let's go ahead and scrape that down. Make sure we get every little bit of that in now. Very good. And it's my goal to do a couple of sides before um, Easter comes. That's my goal. Might not work out that way, but that's my goal. And then we're going to add our sour cream, and this is just eight ounces of sour cream. And of course, you know I don't use any low fat, no fat. I want the full fat sour cream. So that's what this is completely full fat. And we want to get all of that goodness into it. Now, there are recipes that call for um, you to put in. This is my butter, a whole stick, which is a half a cup of butter. Um, call for you to put cheese on top of it. Um, but this is the original recipe. And we're going to do the original recipe and then just two eggs. And we're just going to crack those eggs over in there. And then we're going to just stir it up. I got a 9 by 9 pan. going to wash my hands real quick and be right back. Okay. So I've got a nine by nine pan and I've got that greased. I've greased that and I just used olive oil and then we're just going to mix until it all comes together. See how quick this is? And this is just a side um, that you can have. Now this is not corn pudding. If it was corn pudding, it would have sugar in it and it would have vanilla extract and it, it would have some... Um, type of uh, all the bonding ingredient in it like flour to help it hold and sit um, but this doesn't have any added sugar in it but it's just a nice side to have and so we're going to mix this up real good till it comes together it's just so quick and so easy to do and it makes one nice side so when you think you've gotten it together real nicely and the eggs is beating up in it real good. Then all you're going to do is pour it into your pan. And that looks really good to me. I think we're done with the stirring part of it. Because it went together so quickly. That's all. And here's my 9 by 9 pan. I like this pan. Um, you can use whatever pan you choose as far as just make sure you stay within that um, size range. And we're just going to pull this into the pan. We're going to put it on our 350 degree oven and we're going to let it cook for about 55 to 60 minutes. I'm going to test it and make sure that it's completely done all the way through. And our means of testing it is going to be like you would test um, some type of a pie or a souffle. Um, more like a pie. You don't want it to jiggle in the middle. So We'll go through and we'll test it before we take it out. And then we're going to let it cool a little bit. 
and then we'll be ready to have this. This is freezable. I'm just going to spread it out a little bit. You can freeze this after you make it. And it, it's good to freeze for a month or two. So here it is. And I'm going to stick it into my preheated oven. And we're going to let this cook. And it'll, then it'll be ready to eat. Like I said, some people will put some stirrings in here as well. Jalapeno peppers, onions. But we just want the plain old southern country corn casserole. Okay, friend. So the corn casserole is out of the oven. It's been... Um, cooling for about 10 minutes and I want you to see that there's no jiggle in it that's the way you want it and we're just going to cut right on into it and have a little taste mm, that looks good it's smelling good and I'm going to show you what it looks like in here just want to get Kind of clean this up a little bit so you can see real good into it to see what it looks like. You can still see the steam coming off of it. And I'm going to kind of and you can see how good and how that looks and it smells absolutely wonderful. We're going to give this a quick taste. I know it's really hot. Mmm. That is really tasty. And this can definitely be a side for your Easter dinner. I'm going to bring you some more sides to have for your Easter dinner. Of course, this is the first one. My plan is to bring you another side to have for your Easter dinner as well. Go ahead and make it and enjoy. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. The recipe is going to be down in the description box in this video. Remember to like my video. And remember to click on the bell so that you can get notifications when I upload a new video. So I want to thank you again for watching, be blessed, and we'll see you real soon.